In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our risen Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Sisters and brothers, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred Easter mystery. I confess, Almighty God, and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, in my fault, in my fault, in my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, who in the celebration of Easter graciously give to the world the healing of heavenly remedies, show love to your church that our present observance may benefit us for eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the, Apostle, of the Apostles. On the following Sabbath, almost the whole city gathered to hear the word of the Lord. When the Jews saw the crowds, they were filled with jealousy and with violent abuse contradicted what Paul said. Both Paul and Barnabas spoke out boldly and said, it was necessary that the word of God be spoken to you first, but since you reject it and condemn yourselves as unworthy of eternal life, we now turn to the Gentiles. For so the Lord has commanded us, <clears throat> I have made you a light to the Gentiles, that you may be an instrument of salvation to the ends of the earth. The Gentiles were delighted when they heard this and glorified the word of the Lord. All who were destined for eternal life came to believe, and the word of the Lord continued to spread through the whole region. The Jews, however, incited the women of prominence who were, the, who were worshipers and the leading men of the city stirred up a persecution against Paul and Barnabas and expelled them from their territory. So they shook the dust from their feet in protest against them and then went to Iconium. The disciples were filled with joy and the Holy Spirit. The word of the Lord. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. The Lord has made his salvation known in the sight of the nations. He has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our Lord. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song, sing praise. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. <coughs> alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. If you remain in my word, you will truly be my disciples, and you will know the truth, says the Lord, and the truth will set you free. Alleluia, alleluia, The Lord be with you. And with your A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, If you know me, then you will also know my Father. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Philip said to Jesus, Master, show us the Father, 
and that will be enough for us. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you for so long a time, and you still do not know me, Philip? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, Show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me? The words that I spoke to you, I do not speak on my own. The Father who dwells in me is doing his works. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me, or else believe because of the works themselves. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever believes in me will do the works that I do, and will do greater ones than these, because I am going to the Father. And whatever you ask in my name, I will do, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything of me in my name, I will do it. The Gospel of the Lord. There's always more to learn about the faith, isn't there? Uh, We know that God's uh, plan of salvation for humanity is perfect. It's perfect. All we got to do is is follow it. And in in the readings in this Easter season, even this morning, we're we're hearing about God, that there is an order to salvation, an order to salvation. It's perfect. It's ordered. It isn't chaotic. God's salvation is perfect. So let's take a look. The work of uh, the word of God, which is Jesus, is spoken, and we're hearing this in the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 13, verses 44 through 52. So the word of God, Jesus, is spoken. It's presented first to the Jews, because they're the chosen people, the Jewish nation, and then to the Gentiles, the non-Jews. The word of God, we said, is Jesus brings about all kinds of things, good things. There's delight, there's joy, brings glory to God for such a great gift. Why is this kind of response? What's going on here? Well, because we know those who believed would experience eternal life and would do that soon. So there is great delight and joy knowing that the word of God, Jesus, when accepted, brings eternal life. And then in St. John's Gospel, chapter 14, verses 7 through 14, Jesus reveals this deep, deep union or communion between Jesus and the Father. The love within the Trinity allows it to be eternal. It's perfect. It doesn't, the Trinity doesn't implode in on itself. Uh, In fact, the, the love of the Trinity is so perfect that that love reaches out, reaches out to us. We share in the eternal love through the Holy Eucharist. Uh, The Eucharist in this National Eucharistic Revival, it's important to understand this, that God allows us to receive Eucharist, Jesus, the living word of God, and that that love, we share in that love. Uh, The greatest work, one author wrote, the greatest work you and I can do is to proclaim that Jesus is Lord by our lives. We do that through Eucharist. It helps us. So in this National Eucharistic Revival, it's good to reflect on some saints who are deeply in love with Eucharist. Oh, such deep love. Uh, They wrote things down. So here we go, our little game. I do this every Saturday morning. Uh, We'll have a Eucharistic reflection, and then you've got to guess the saint. I know this isn't fair. It's pretty tough. Um, but here we go. This is a, 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 a Eucharistic, ref, Eucharistic reflection from a saint. The saint writes, Oh, sweet blood, you strip us of selfish, sensual love that weakens those who wear it, and you clothe us in the fire of divine charity. Whew. That's deep Eucharistic love. Okay, give you a few moments. Guess, 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 guess. Uh, it is St. Catherine of Siena. She wrote that. She was deeply in love with, you, with the Eucharist. And it's a beautiful image to put on the cloak, the cloak or the coat of divine love. 
That's a beautiful image. That's what we're doing when we receive Eucharist. We're putting on the holy coat of divine love. Now we take off that sensual love of the world and we put on the holy coat of divine love. Eucharist is doing that. Mary is a perfect example this morning of a person wearing the holy coat of divine love. A St. Louis de Montfort, he, write, he had a beautiful devotion, love for our Blessed Mother. He wrote this, Always uh, remember that the more you and I allow Mary, the Mother of God, to act in your communion, which we'll just do in an, a few moments, the more we allow Mary to, do, to act in your Holy Communion, the more Jesus will be glorified. And that's exactly what we want to do this morning. Asking our Blessed Mother to help us uh, act in this communion, she'll help us, so that we can give glory and honor to God in this Eucharist. Think of our Blessed, I don't know where I read this either, think of our Blessed Mother as a, a, a beautiful seamstress. We were talking about the coat, uh, fitting uh, that, uh, putting on that holy coat of divine love. Well, she's the one that's making this coat for us. Every time we receive communion, she's putting it together. Now, it'll be different, you know, we get, it's kind of hard to understand this because we got little bits of communion that we're put, she's putting together. But when we're in heaven, we see this, it's going to be a perfect fit. So be patient. She's a great seamstress. I found this little prayer our, to our Blessed Mother. It's a prayer to Mary, Mother of the Eucharist. O oh, Mary, teach us the life of adoration. Teach us to find, as you did, all mysteries and all graces in the Holy Eucharist, to live the gospel over and over again and again every day, and to read it in the Eucharistic life of Jesus Christ. Remember, O Lady of the Most Blessed Sacrament, that you are the mother of all adorers of the Holy Eucharist. You are blessed among women, Mary, and blessed is our Eucharistic Jesus, the fruit of your womb. Let us pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Amen. St. Catherine of Siena, St. Louis de Montfort, St. Joseph, the Immaculate Conception, the Immaculate Heart of Mary, and the Sacred Heart of Jesus. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Together we stand, trusting in God's goodness and love for us. Let us offer him our petitions and prayers this morning. We pray that all who preach this living gospel, the word of God, in the name of the Lord, may be filled with joy and the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord we want to pray for all those who are affected by the storms yesterday. Uh, those who had property damage, uh, homes destroyed, some are injured. We also pray in thanksgiving for those first responders, uh, what, police, firefighters, ambulance, uh, who's electrician, is that what they are? Power workers, putting power back together. And even uh, uh, hospitals were ready on call, e emergency room, ER, hospital teams. We pray for all of them. We lift them up to the Lord this morning. Let us pray to the Lord. That the living word of God, Jesus, may continue to spread to the ends of the earth, and that'll help build up lasting peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord that all who suffer in mind or body may be comforted by God's love for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord that the Holy Spirit may provide all of us with perseverance in our daily witness of the living word of God. Let us pray to the Lord. And we pray for all those who have died, those who die from natural disasters, earthquakes, floods, tornadoes, whatever that is. Uh, we pray for the, for the repose of their souls. Let us pray to the Lord. And just in the quietness of our hearts, our own personal prayers and petitions for our Heavenly Father this morning.
Let us pray to the Lord. And we pray our Mass intention this morning is listed for Steve Bowens. (laughs) Let us pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, you sent your Son, Jesus, to abide with us. Please hear the prayers we offer this morning through Christ, our risen Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, be God, Christ. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our risen Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. At all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalt in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given out for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, this is, for this is the chalice of my, of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and George, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, 
Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, we bless a Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostle, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. And let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord.
Let us pray. We have just partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son, Jesus, commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity through Christ our risen Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessings. We have three beautiful blessings after each one will respond. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Amen. May he let his face shine upon you and show you his loving mercy. Amen. May he turn his countenance toward you and give you his eternal peace. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever and ever. Amen. Go and announce the living gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you.